Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between cannot as one word, can not as two words, and can't. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between cannot, can not, and can't. Let's start with cannot as one word. So really pay attention that this is one word and spelling, we have two N's, but it's in one word. Now cannot is the negative form of the verb can. That's it, simple as that. So let's take a positive sentence with can. I could say, I can pick you up at the airport. I can pick you up at the airport. That's a positive sentence. But if I wanna make this sentence negative, all I need to do is change can with cannot. Remember, one word, two ends. So that would be, I cannot pick you up at the airport. So to make a positive can sentence negative, simply use one word, cannot, and replace that with can. It's as simple as that. Now, let's talk about can't. Notice the spelling. There's one end and it's a contraction, right? Every time you see the apostrophe, you know it's a contraction. So, can't is just the contracted form of cannot. You can think of it as the short form. Now, you use it in the exact same way. So, we take our positive sentence, I can pick you up at the airport. And then, to make it negative, we just change it with can't, can't. I can't pick you up at the airport. Can't is more common than using cannot, the longer form. Now, let's talk about cannot as two words. First of all, know that this is not the negative form of the verb can, okay? It's not the negative form. If you use it as the negative form, in spoken English, you won't hear a difference. But in written English, if you use can not as two words, it's a spelling mistake. As simple as that, it's a spelling mistake. Okay, because the correct spelling of the negative form of can is cannot one word. But can not as two words still exists, but it's not very commonly used. We can use it, for example, when you have not in one part of a sentence, and then can is just your verb of that sentence. But can and not, when they're two words, aren't together, okay? Their relationship isn't together. So for example, you're probably familiar with the expression, not only, but. That's a very common expression in English. Not only X, but also Y. Not only, but. So notice in this expression, I have the word not, not only. Now, theoretically, my verb in this sentence could be can. And if that's the case, you might see can and not side by side but they're not together. It's not making can negative. Not relates to not only but, or another expression that uses not. So for example, I could say, I can not only pick you up at the airport, I can also help you unpack, okay? Just to give an example. So notice, I can now, not only pick you up at the airport. So can is just the verb in the sentence. It's not connected with not only but. I can not only pick you up at the airport, I can also help you unpack. So that's just 
Theoretically, you could see can and not side by side as two separate words, but honestly, that's not very common, and I don't think you're going to see that. When you see can and not side by side as two words, most likely it's just a spelling mistake, and they wanted to make can negative, which is one word cannot. So to summarize, cannot as one word is the negative form of can. Can't is a contraction of cannot, is the most commonly used. Can not as two words is possible, but it's not the negative form of the verb can. So now you know how to use these, and now of course it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three examples, one with cannot, the negative form, one with can, the contraction, and then why not try I can not only but. That would be a pretty advanced structure to practice. So you can leave all those examples in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. And until next time, happy studying! All right, awesome job with this video, fixing your English grammar and becoming really comfortable with advanced grammar at the same time. That's awesome. Leave your examples in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.